search up to our classroom. <coughs> we don't know you, but we hold you walk. Take a look at our classroom. Our class watched a video about a boy who made a cardboard arcade. This inspired us to do the cardboard box challenge. The cardboard box challenge is when somebody takes a cardboard box and thinks of it as something else. And what did you create, Ava? I created a little Barbie school, even though it got used for the pan their pantry because I could because it was too big to take home. And how about you? I made a computer with a game inside of it. Thank you. Our class um, decided to do classroom redesign. What we did was we got in partner groups and we had some people come in to help us. And um, we, we wrote down what we wanted and you got to write a quiet space, a doing space or a meeting space and you got to design what you wanted it to look like. Then, um, we made a couple, we also wanted a yoga ball in our room, and my second grade teacher has yoga balls, so we wrote, me and Ethan wrote a letter to her if we could have, a, if we could borrow like two yoga balls to test it out. We also made a cave out of ribbon, um, and it's part of a quiet space that we made. And we also got a classroom pet named Clover, and we had some people make a house for him. This is what our classroom looks like now. We did a lesson with Mrs. Peckman's class on treasure projects and how we can use them to help other people. Some of the things we decided to do were dance show, comics, recycle camp, art club, sandwiches for the hungry, and community garden. And which camp did you choose to do, Fiona? What did you do? I decided to do recycle camp. Why? I decided to do that because we want more people to recycle and not throw away. And what did you do, Julia? I did dance show because I really like dancing and I thought Watching it can make other people happy. Thank you. I'm Kasir and I'm AJ. We're going to talk about well That's okay, go ahead. We're gonna this is the book that started us and that's how we became writers. So I'm interviewing my dad. And I'm Sorry. interviewing my Aunt Oyo. Mm -hmm. My Aunt Oyo came all the way from Waco, Texas. My dad's in Utah right now, but He's gonna come down, I think on Saturday, and he's gonna try his best to come to our celebration. We are doing a play about Henry Box Brown because he is creative, inventive, and notable. We started from scratch and have made, done a lot of things <coughs> with the play. You got, we got to choose our own jobs if you wanted to be an actor or a person backstage. And why are you doing a play in the first place? We're doing a play because our class decided that we should do a play on someone who is creative, inventive, and notable. And we thought Henry Box Brown would be a great person to do it on. We are making a coding website for kids in Central York School District. We are making it be because we can have kids learn more about coding, and we've worked on it a long time. We also had high school kids come and help us with it. We are hoping to publish it in a couple weeks. We love these on people who help us, such as Mr. Tom. He helped us a lot with art, such as selfies and typography. He helped us a lot. He even let us make our own and gave it 
two people for the art show and gave us $100, which we donated to cancer. Um, we got in Turtle Expert, a Turtle Expert, and we Skyped him, and he taught us a whole bunch about turtles, about how cool they are to live in the sea, and that six out of the seven types of turtles are endangered. And I think that it was really cool to learn that he found really big turtle his first time. And I didn't know um, that the numbers were so big when turtles gave birth to tiny eggs. Miss Judy, she helped us with her play. She, she makes me suggestions and helped us with people, many people around the world. We have Skype with people in Michigan and Denmark. My favorite was Mr. Jim because we Skyped with him the most times. And mine's Mr. Jim too. There is a kid that comes to our class named Carl. He plays with us at recess, we go to lunch with him, and he is our best friend. Um, sometimes, he he will come in with to morning meeting to, and after that we will go to recess and play. What are some things that you've learned? How do you communicate with Carl? To communicate with Carl, we use sign language like like good morning, good day and st and stuff like that.